Hello everybody, this is Sangeeta Saxena, editor of Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Air India 2023. And we are here at the MBDA stand and we have with us Nick Dilaranga who is the Chief of Corporate Communication with MBDA based out of UK. And Nick, wonderful to see you here at India at the Air India 2023. What a lovely change, no masks, no corona clouds. And so how does it feel to be here? Uh, it's lovely to be back here, you know, MBDA has got a very uh, long and proud history uh, supporting the Indian Forces, uh, exhibiting at Aero India, so it's uh, really good to be back. I wasn't able to come two years ago because of the coronavirus, but we did have a presence here, but it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be back again there personally. Uh, we're here talking about our Make India commitments, our, uh, our, our uh, strategy supporting that man and other rats. As you, as you know well, you know, we've been uh, making missile systems in India in partnership with uh, Indian DPSUs and with the private sector now for over 50 years. Uh, so the Indian forces over, and we use over 50,000 uh, of our missiles that we made in India. So that's something we're, we're very proud of. We're continuing to deep, uh, deepen our industrial uh, partnerships in India. Again, the DPSUs, the private sectors, the um, micro and medium sized uh, enterprises as uh, we continue to roll out uh, programs to support the Indian Air Force, the Indian Army and the Indian Navy. Yes, wonderful, Nick. And you know, it's absolutely the time that we have our governments at the centre saying, make in India and make India self-reliant. So in such a condition, India has a lot of tie-ups with Indian industries. Could you talk a little about them? Sure, yes, we do. So uh, one of our long-standing relationships is with uh, Dynamics Limited, uh, the, the, the DPSU responsible for uh, uh, missile systems principally. So we've uh, worked in partnership with them. Uh, and there are many different missiles going back in the very first generation of anti-tank missiles. Uh, recently we signed uh, two agreements with them in the last couple of years for the, uh, the assembly of uh, Mistral missiles, uh, the Shorehead missiles, uh, and for attack helicopters, and uh, Atran missiles for uh, fast jet aircraft. Uh, we signed agreements with them for assembly of those missiles in India, and uh, we've also created a joint venture with Larson Fubro, uh, LMT MBDA Missile Systems Limited, where we have a manufacturing facility in India, in a Greenfield site in Coimbatore, which today is manufacturing uh, missile launchers for the Rafale and Mirage 2000, and uh, the rear sections of Nika missiles, again, for both of those aircraft. And uh, our uh, JEB is uh, bidding on uh, three programs now for the Indian Armed Forces, um, including uh, a vertically launched uh, surfaced uh, to air missile system to protect the, the warships of the Indian Navy. Wonderful. So MBDA is out in all the three forces. And uh, when we talk of MBDA and its research, does M MBDA find India a lucrative place to have a research center or something like that? Uh, it certainly could be. It certainly could be, yes. So we, uh, as we're looking at uh, making India, pro delivering the Making India programs, of course, there are different categories of Making India. Um, and we're looking at how we can deliver on all categories of that, from uh, uh, initial Making India program all the way through to uh, uh, Indian design, developed and manufactured uh, products. Right. And, you know, I wanted to actually understand from you, this is day three today, and what has been the footfall like? And, uh, you know, uh, are you satisfied with this resurgence? If this is the biggest Air India to date. Is it? That's fantastic. It's certainly been very busy on our, on our stands. I haven't had a chance to walk around as much as I'd like because we've been so busy, but uh, certainly we've had uh, very good attendance, very good work. Uh, and I've uh, been very pleased uh, and proud to host delegations, uh, very senior delegations from uh, the Indian Armed Services. That's something we've been uh, very pleased with. Wonderful, Nick. It was so lovely speaking with you. And I'm sure that when we speak, Nick, we'll have lots and lots more to talk about. So it's great speaking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sandy. It's always a pleasure.